we'll be talking about your health, your wealth. Yes, your health, your wealth. I'm sure you must have had a popular saying, health is wealth. So, what is the correlation between your health and your wealth? What is the plan of God for your health? Is God interested in your health? What are those recipes, tips, routines needed to maintain a healthy lifestyle? How do you stay free from diseases, sicknesses, illness in this world that is reading with sicknesses? Now, to start off, what is health? How do we define health? What do we mean by referring to health? First, health refers to the condition of being sound in mind, body, and spirit, especially freedom from diseases and pain. It can also be said to mean a state of freedom from illnesses and injury. Lastly, we can also refer to health as being the state of well-being, that is, the state where an individual is striving and doing well health-wise. No doubt, in recent times, the news has been replete with cases of life-threatening diseases, debilitating sicknesses such as cancers, kidney problems, liver diseases, stroke, diabetes, high blood pressure, arthritis, just name it, and even COVID, coronavirus. In fact, it might interest you to know that the children, teenagers, and middle aged are worst affected. You don't keep wondering how to one cope in such a world as this. What is our fate? You keep wondering. I hope these diseases will not come near me. You know, you are you, you, you get worried and you begin to fear for your life. My brothers and sisters, fear not. Now, what do we need to do to stay healthy? What are those routines we need to imbibe to keep away sicknesses from us? Follow me as we analyze these issues together. First step towards maintaining a healthy lifestyle is eat healthy. I repeat, eat healthy. A number of us, what we are concerned about is, I just want to eat. You don't care to consider what has been served in your platter. You don't care to ponder what make up all these things that you are feeding your body with. All you are just concerned about is food. I just want to eat anything, anytime, anyway. No, it doesn't work that way. For you to eat healthy, you need to consider your fruits, your vegetables, a good and healthy diet comprises the vegetables, your fruits and nuts. Water. Now, it's not just about eating rice, 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 beans, beans, noodles, yams, potatoes, you know. At times, you just need to go on the fruit diet. As in, all you just need is 
You take your cucumbers, you take your pineapples, you take your apples, you take your guava, you take your papa, you take your oranges, you take your bananas. You know, just focus on that. Feed on it. You can try it. And you yourself, you know that yes, your body accepts and love it. Just fruits. Now, some people don't even go near fruit at all. For whatever reasons, for whatever reasons I mean, for whatever reasons, is not ideal. Is not ideal. Especially the green ones. You don't want to joke with it. There are a lot of health benefits associated with these fruits, and your body really needs them. The good news is you don't need to break it back to feed on fruits. An adage says, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So you can imagine a cucumber a day, a beetroot a day, a carrot a day, you know? You don't need to like, okay, I just want to buy the whole basket. Of, no! Just incorporate it into your diet daily. I mean, it is the accumulation of this daily habit that makes you healthy. Increase your water intake. It cannot be overemphasized. Research has shown that about 45 to 70% of the human body is water. Depending on your body type, on fitness, you know. But you need to take a lot of water Quit the soda. Stop taking soda. All those your soft drink, your juice. No, your body, it, it does more harm to your body than good. Take water. 